Hey, yo, this is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. And I got a question for you. How many fucks do you give? These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of raw. How many fucks do you give? you give any fucks at all? Why do you care so much about what other people think about you? Why do you care so much about what others think of you? See, we spend too much time, entirely too much time, being concerned with what other people think of us in all walks of life. On the internet, strangers, you don't even know. Well, I don't want to post this. I don't want to say this. I don't want to do this online because these people are watching. What are they going to think? Why do you give a fuck what they think? They're not paying your bills. Okay? These people don't even know you your family members. You know, what are my family gonna think? What are my parents gonna think? You're grown. It, look, the only people you should be concerned about what they think of you are your children. And, you know, people who respect you. You know, um, respect is very important, especially as a man. But if your children love you and respect you you know your lady loves you and respects you honors you you shouldn't give a fuck about what anybody else thinks of you yeah your parents but that's to a degree your parents and you know if if you go against what they think and you're a grown person you shouldn't give a fuck because this is your life now and you got your own path and your own mission Everybody's not going to understand why you say and do the things you do. And you should not be concerned or living your life, you know, uh, the way that they think you should be or the way that they understand. They're not supposed to understand you. Miles Davis had a lot of quotes, but one of my favorite quotes from Miles Davis is, everybody's not supposed to understand me. If everyone understood me, they'd be me. Right? It's simple. Why do you give a fuck what, whether they understand? One of the most powerful, liberating feelings that a human being can ever feel is the power of not giving a fuck what other people think. See, when you give a fuck about what everybody else thinks, you're no longer in control of your life. Your life is controlled by what other people think of you and their perspective and their outlook on, on, on life and, and who they think you're supposed to be to them. It really has very little to do with who you are and, and, and what you aspire to or what you're about. It's about who they want you to be. So if you start living your life, you know, we do this as children. We're taught, you know, our, our parents raise us, they guide us, okay, they influence us. Uh, but as you become an adult, you have the right to not give a fuck, even what your parents think. There's so many children who, you know, go to college as young adults because their parents told them to major in something that they don't even want to be 
they don't even want to be at the school, much less major in the shit that their parents want. It's just tradition or it's, the, you know, they're disappointing their parents if they don't know whatever. It doesn't matter. These kids become uh, miserable, uh, miserable adults at the end and waste a bunch of time and rack up a bunch of student loan debt and all kind of shit like this. Then they get out of school with all these degrees and realize they don't even want to do this shit. And most of them don't get paid um, in the industries that they got all these degrees in in the first place. There's not enough jobs for one of these people with all these degrees. It's just the facts. We have to go our own way. You have to find your tribe. You have to find your support system. As they say, get in where you fit in. There are millions of people who are into what you're into, who are about what you're about. It's about finding those people. The way you find them is not going out and looking for them, actually. It's about putting out into the universe, putting the energy out there that this is who you are, becoming who you are, right? And then showing up. Go out there, go to places where these people go and gather like-minded individuals. That's your tribe. You don't have to force your way or your way of thinking on other people. There are plenty of people who think like you. Find them. They're looking for you, actually. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're looking for you. Find each other. Support each other. Grow with each other. Stop giving a fuck about everybody else. Because they don't give a fuck about you. You did? The people who have been most successful in life have had to stop giving a fuck at some point what other people thought. And they did the unthinkable. And they did shit that people think they th thought that they couldn't do or no one's ever done before or would have, whatever the case. But they stopped giving a fuck. And just went for it. And that's what I did. I don't give a fuck anymore. I don't give a fuck what any of y'all think. Believe it or not. And it comes, it goes to the little list of things. See, most of the people who you see in the public eye not giving a fuck on everyday life are artists. Why? Because artists paint the picture of life that they want to see. They don't paint it for you, they paint it for them. They make the art for them. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, they don't give a fuck. That's what the true artist's heart is. They don't give a fuck. Believe it or not, they don't make songs for you. They don't paint paintings for you. They paint what comes from within them. If you gravitate towards it, great. You buy it, you support it, you love it. If you don't, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> they just don't. That's why I like, you know, it's usually like rock and roll artists and like different artists, rappers and people like this. You always see like this, like, and then and, and it's the youth. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Because they don't give a fuck. The youth doesn't give a fuck what you think today. And neither does the rock and roll guy. Or or the, you know, you know, the the, the artist. Because they, they they don't conform to any structure or law system. They're rebels and renegades to the to the way of doing things. They do things their own way. So it's fuck you. Right? The power of not giving a fuck will free you. And you become more powerful than you ever imagined. Stop giving a fuck. Do what it is that believe you should be doing in your life in the best interest of 
you and your goals and your loved ones that you are responsible for. Friends, family, internet, and otherwise, if they do not align with your mind and your plans and your goals, look how many fucks, look how many fucks I give. That should be your response. Look at all the fucks falling from, look all the fucks I give. Stop giving a fuck. This is Mr. Cav Cabernet, Lifestyle Connoisseur. And as you can see, I don't give a fuck. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of.